welcome to the show. I'm Deirdre Roy. In this episode, we sit with Priyanka Chopra Jonas about her new movie, The Sky is Pink. Let's take a look. Hi guys, I'm Priyanka Chopra Jonas and we're here on Daryl's show. So Priyanka, thank you so much for being on the show today. It's a really exciting time in the city with the Toronto International Film Festival and of course I know your movie The Sky is Pink is screening. So talk to us about the movie and what compelled you to be in it. I'm super excited that um, the movie is premiering at the, ga at the gala presentation which yes. is which doesn't happen very often. And what makes me super proud is it's the only film from Asia yeah. to be selected. It feels amazing because for me, this movie is a double credit, I guess. I'm a producer and an actor. And it's my first one with which I am co-producing and I'm an actor as well. So um, on many levels, it's uh, really exciting. I love TIFF. TIFF has always, as a festival and Cameron, I think they've been so supportive of my career um, from the first time I came to TIFF many years mm -hmm. ago and I feel like this film will have an opportunity to reach a large number of an audience because, um, because of that. And talk to us about your character. Did you see any similarities in your character in yourself? So she's a real person, mm -hmm. my character, since this is based on a true story. Mm -hmm. um, and Aditi and I do think have similarities. Um, she's ferociously protective of her family, um, tenacious, bold, audacious. Yeah. And I feel like I'm a little bit of those things too. Yeah, and talk to us about the symbolism behind the name The Sky is Pink. It's so special and poetic. The Sky is Pink basically is um, a metaphor for your life, whatever your destiny is. Don't let anyone tell you what the color of your sky should be. You yeah. color your sky the way you want it to. Live your yeah. life with the freedom you want it to. Mm -hmm. And that's the philosophy of the movie. And mm -hmm. that's the philosophy of this family. Because it's not it's not linear and it's not simple. But when you watch the film, you understand it. Yeah. And the underlying message of this movie is really unconditional love between you and your husband, between you and your kids. How do you think love triumphs over tragedy in this movie? Love triumphs everything, eventually. Human beings live for that. Death is something as humans we're afraid of. Even yeah. though it's the only thing that we know yeah, is that is constant. Love eventually transcends giving love, feeling love, holding each other with love will not just transcend tragedy but anything. Yeah, and you've had such a smooth transition from Bollywood to Hollywood while still be being very authentic and keeping your Indian roots. Um, talk to us about the importance of that. Being in the entertainment business is never easy. Expanding from uh, being an Indian film actor to wanting to work around the world, I think that I'm glad it seemed easy but wasn't. It was, um, it was an arduous journey, difficulties when you're trying to do something with your life and your career. And I think eventually it is that you you have to learn from failure. I'm, you have to decide what is going to happen, what what decision you're going to make after you fail. Yeah. I've failed many times, but success is defined by the decisions that you make after failing. I think for me, I've always seen myself as an actor, an entertainer. Um, and wherever in the world people want to watch me, I'll go and work. Yeah, and our show is all about inspiration and success and inspiring the new generation. Um, what's one obstacle you faced in your life and how did you overcome it? On the death of my dad, yeah, for sure. It probably was the biggest. Um, I, I don't think I even, I, I'm not over it really. You don't, you don't yeah. overcome um, loss like that. It becomes your companion. It, love um, triumphs every, everything including tragedy. And having my friends and family, my mom, um, people around me at that time really helped me deal with it. And what's the best advice someone ever gave you in your life? My mom talk, said that to me when I was very young, that, you know, who are we to judge other people and their choices in their lives? We, we're very, we've become very judgmental as, as a society, I feel, especially with social media coming in. I think mm -hmm. people are just like, oh, I can have any opinion about anyone, about mm -hmm. anything. Each person's sky is their own color. I choose yeah. mine to be pink. Yeah. You're very fearless um, and authentic. Where do you think that fearless attitude comes from? I think you have to teach yourself that. I think no human being is born with quali like qualities like that. Yeah. Confidence is something you teach yourself. I wasn't confident always. I am not confident always. Sometimes I get scared and sometimes I get thrown. Mm -hmm. But the, cho the choice that I make is to be fearless. That doesn't mean yeah. I don't get scared. Be unafraid when I take the first step 
into my day. But there would be things I'm sure that'll come up that would scare me and petrify me. And it's okay knowing that no matter what happens, eventually it'll be okay.